We're expecting to learn how long a YouTube parenting blogger and her business partner will spend behind bars. Ruby Frankie, Jody Hildebrand uh, will be sentenced tomorrow on child abuse charges. ABC 4's Jillian Smuckler going over what we can expect from that. The shocking child abuse case against YouTube parenting vlogger Ruby Frankie is entering a new phase. I'm not even going to let you eat breakfast until you get your chores done. The Utah mother of six could be sentenced as soon as Tuesday, along with her business partner, Jody Hildebrand, a Utah mental health counselor who collaborated with Frankie on parenting advice. Police arrested both women on multiple felony aggravated child abuse charges. Frankie's rigid parenting style, which she documented on her now-deleted YouTube channel, raised concern among some of her millions of social media followers. I'm only going to say it one more time, and then you're going to lose the privilege to eat dinner. Police records show officers even did a wellness check in the home back in 2022. But it was this chilling 911 call this past August that busted the abuse scandal wide open. I just had a 12-year-old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. Frankie's son showed up at a neighbor's door after escaping Hildebrand's home in Ivan's. He's emaciated. He's got tape around his legs. He's hungry and he's thirsty. He's also saying that there's two of his sisters are back at the home as well. Body camera video shows police officers with guns drawn raiding Frankie's home looking for the other children. Police department! Court documents say Frankie's son had deep lacerations from being tied up with rope. With my deepest regret and sorrow for my family and my children, guilty. Authorities also found Frankie's 10-year-old daughter in Hildebrand's home malnourished. As part of a plea deal, Frankie and Hildebrand both admitted that they physically and emotionally abused Frankie's children. Their fate is now in the hands of a judge who will decide how they'll pay for their crimes. They're each facing potentially decades in prison. I think both Ruby and Jody would be wise to give some statement, some form of apology, because that would help them in the sense of they both pled guilty, but also for potential parole or release. As part of her plea deal, Frankie agreed to serve prison time, her lawyer saying it's a step in the right direction for her to be accountable for what she did. That was Jillian Smuckler reporting. Okay, so make sure you stick with us. We will be at tomorrow's sentencing, which is set to begin at 10 a.m., and we're going to bring you the very latest updates, both on air and online at abc4.com.